Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be part three of my declutter series, which is blush. This includes blush, some palettes, and also just single blushes. Only powder blush though. My cream blush is in a separate category. Part one was lip gloss, part two was lipstick. I will link those in the cards and in the description box. This is gonna take a while, so let's get started. Wait, I forgot my rings, I'm back. All right, let's just go with some of the favorites right off the bat that I'm gonna keep. Cover FX Duo in Pink Dahlia. I love this so much. It's like a peachy pink, very, very nice. Definitely keeping. Patrick Ta, this is a newer one to my collection. I only bought this, I think like two months ago. This is like a peachy coral. I have a feeling a lot of these are gonna look the same. Okay, yeah, this one looks more orange. Even though this has a cream side, I do keep that in with my powder blushes. This one from Becca in Tiger Lily. I really, really like this. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, that one has a bit of sheen and it's more of an orange. I will say blush does not swatch that well um, because most blushes are not, they're not as opaque as eyeshadows, but all right, moving on. Marc Jacobs, definitely keeping this one too. Even though I cracked it, sadly, it's a little bit loose in here. This one is Flesh and Fantasy and this one is a neutral peach. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so many of these are gonna look the same. It's ridiculous. This Hourglass blush in Brilliant Nude is in my project pan. I am trying to pan this this year. As you can see, I have a lot left, but I'm gonna keep working on it. This one is neutral with a bit of a sheen there. And then let me just go ahead and take out the other project pan blush. I know we haven't decluttered anything yet. This is MAC Prim and Proper. This is the oldest makeup product in my whole collection. Whoops. This blush is, I think, 11 or 12 years old, but it still works and it doesn't break me out. There it is right there. It's more of a neutral mauve. I really like it, but I am trying to work on that in my project pan as well. I really do like all of my blushes, honestly, and I absolutely love blush. This one I think is gonna go though. This is Physician's Formula in Vintage Rouge and I have a feeling I have a lot of colors. Like it's very light and neutral. It's really nice. I really do like this, but I'm just realizing I have so many dupes. So that one is gonna go. This one from CoverGirl, this is in, I'm pretty sure, Soft Sable, yeah. Let's see how this one looks in comparison. Oops, I'm too much of a swatch there. This one is more pigmented, so yeah, I think that one is going to stay. I don't remember if I said the total here is 36 products, but some of these are face palettes. Um, as far as the face palettes, I did include my Hourglass palette here just because there are two blushes. These two, um, this is the Sculpture palette. I do like this. I wouldn't buy from Hourglass anymore, but I like the products that I have, so I am going to keep that. Um, okay, this is one of my favorite blushes. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. This is so pretty. Watch, it's gonna look just like the other ones. Yeah, this one barely shows up in a swatch, but on the face it's more pigmented. It's the problem with blush. Um, okay, still only decluttered one, I realize that. NARS in Luster. This is a nice one. Man. Yeah, some of these blush just doesn't swatch that great, but this one's more peachy. Again, this one's way more pigmented on the face than it's looking here, but I really love it. I think that's a really nice formula. Here's one that I have a feeling I probably have some similar shades. Again, I like this one, but let's see. 
This is from Amuse Beauty or Amuse Cosmetics Mandarin Pop. This is from the Shop Miss A website. This is actually a very nice blush. However, I think I have a feeling it's gonna look like the Natasha Denona. That's the Muse, that's the Natasha Denona. They look a little bit different in the swatch. And in the pan, I don't know. These are one that on the face, I think they look pretty similar. So I'm gonna keep the Natasha Denona Mini Bloom Blush. This formula is beautiful. I absolutely love that. And gonna let the Amuse one go. Here we have my one Pat McGrath blush. This is in Love Struck. There it is right there. Beautiful fuchsia. As you can see, this is very different than everything else I have. This looks beautiful on the cheeks. I do really like this blush. Um, I don't like, I struggle to open the packaging because you have to have your finger like right at the center, which is a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, definitely keeping. This is a fun one. This is from ColourPop in Toffee Cake. Let's see what this looks like in a swatch. That's more red. And I think that's like the only more red toned blush I have. So definitely gonna keep that one too. The other one from ColourPop, these were from the same collection. This one is in Swirled. This is more of a neutral pink, which, I mean, it's very pretty. I do like it. We haven't even gotten into swatching some of these pink blushes, but I think I don't need to keep both of those. So that one is actually gonna go as well. This ColourPop palette, this one does have a highlighter as well. This one is the Cookie Cluster palette. Let's swatch these because I do like this one. I haven't used it in a little while. This is something I did get in PR. Let's see. Yeah, these are very peachy, but I like that. Peachy tone blushes are some of my favorites. So I think I am gonna keep the ColourPop palette. So far we have decluttered only three products. Um, you know what, let's start on these from Odin's Eye because these I got in PR. I don't think I need to keep all of these. All right, the Odin's Eye blushes, this first one right here, Ripe Papaya. Like I said, I like peachy tones, so that one is definitely one of my favorites from that collection. The second one is Sweet Tulip. That is this one here. That one is very nice, more of a burgundy, but it's kind of similar to this one. Um, let's see. That one here is Little Jasmine. That one's very nice. And then the last one is Sweet Peach, even though it doesn't look peach at all. So I think these two look similar, but this one has a shimmer in it. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one with the shimmer just because I prefer more of a satin or a matte blush, but I really do like this Odin's Eye formula. It's great. So we're gonna get rid of Sweet Tulip and then I'm going to keep the other three uh, let's see here. What else? I've got a lot left. Okay, this one from Believe Beauty is great. I really enjoy it. This is only $5 and this is kind of like half shimmer, half matte. Very pretty though. Lovely. This one is called Second Chance. This is great. Really enjoy it. Orangey shades are some of my favorite. Here's more of a different blush. This is kind of like an old school classic that people talked about on YouTube a long time ago. This is Illa Masca and Katie. It's this very cool toned pink. It looks really chalky in a swatch, but on the face, this gives a really nice glow. I realize it looks kind of crazy here, but on the face, it looks totally different. So I do like that one. I am going to keep that one. This one from Sigma is really fantastic. This one is in Nymphaea. Let's see here. 
Yeah, it's a pink, but it has a bit more peach than this one. I really enjoy this one as well. Oh boy, this is hard, guys. I really love my blush collection. This is turning out to be more difficult than I thought. All right, gonna keep going. Buxom Blush uh, in Seychelles. This is really nice. Another neutral. With some sheen. Again, this is one that looks more pigmented on the face than it does in a swatch. This Buxom formula is beautiful though. Definitely one of my favorites. This face palette, the Becca Chloe palette, I love this one. These blushes have more of a sheen to it. Got a highlighter, got a bronzer. Definitely keeping that. Oh boy. Okay, here's something that I actually really, really like. This is from Wander Beauty. It's the Trip for Two. However, I don't, whoops, <laughs> is Bellini and then this one is Costa Ray. I really like the blush, but this side that is more of a contour, it just like really doesn't do it for me. It doesn't have a whole lot of pigmentation. I mean, I can get it to build up, but yeah, that's the contour and that's the blush. I admit I'm a little bit on the fence about this. I really love it. And I've mentioned this in favorites videos. I just feel like I'm not using half of this duo, so this is gonna be a maybe. Um, okay, this Shaney Cosmetics blush palette has some more, these are pretty intense. And I don't have, like that's one of the most intense color in there. Yeah, these are really pigmented, but they're really nice. That one's kind of similar to one of the ones from Odin's Eye. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, I think the Wander Beauty, I don't like that half of this I just don't use. So I think I am gonna let that one go. I'm gonna keep the Shaney palette. Boy, let's see here. I gotta think about this a little bit. Out of what's left, I gotta make some decisions. This one is from e.l.f. I love this formula, the primer infused formula. I have one of the bronzers too, it's amazing. This one is always cheeky and it's a peach. Like I said, I love peaches. Definitely keeping that one. The Kylie, you know what, in We're Going Shopping, this is also another peach. I think I really like this formula though. Yeah, there it is there. That's lovely. I think I'm gonna keep the Kylie. There's not, I don't have much left from Kylie. I've made one order ever when they were having a major sale at Ulta just cause I was curious. And I think the blush is probably my favorite. This one from Milani. I had this in my shop, my stash recently and I wasn't that wowed by it. It's like a neutral pink. I don't know, I just felt like on the face it wasn't really giving me a whole lot. Hmm, I think the Milani, yeah, I think that one's gonna go. I think it's very similar to a bunch of stuff I have. Another one from ColourPop, this is in I Need Space. This one I really enjoy, or of like a medium neutral. This one's really nice, it has a bit of sheen to it. I really do like the ColourPop um, powder blush formula, so that one is gonna stay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering anything else. So the Burt's Bees and Toasted Cinnamon, old but amazing. Very different, it's like a brown orange. A lot of people say this could be a bronzer. Um, I don't usually like my bronzers to be this orange, but I think it's a beautiful blush. Definitely keeping that. All right, the last three, I don't think I'm gonna declutter. This is my magnetic palette of depotted blushes. These are Tarte blushes. This was from that big blush book they had, and then this one is Tarte Exposed, which is old school classic. These two are from Bobbi Brown. I like these, I don't reach for them as much. Well, maybe now that I'll have a smaller blush collection, I will, but I do think that those are good. And then the Ofra Island Time palette. I really enjoy the blushes in here. I've got variety. Yeah, definitely like peach and some pinks, but this one is nice. And then the last one is another small magnetic palette with 
This is from Kalon Cosmetics, which is not around anymore. This is from MAC. I think it's Swiss Chocolate. And then this is MAC Melba. MAC Melba is definitely one of my favorite blushes. Yeah, it doesn't swatch very well, but it's another PG neutral, but definitely gonna keep this. So yeah, I didn't declutter as much as I hoped, but yeah, let me give you final numbers. Alrighty, so I am only decluttering six here. These are gonna go, they're in good condition so I can give them to someone else. And none of these blushes are bad, but I just feel like I have too many blushes and a lot of dupes, obviously. Like that's, that's the thing about blush is over the years I've realized a lot of times a blush may look different in the pan, but then once when I put it on my face, it doesn't really look all that different. So six blushes getting decluttered. Alrighty, this is the keep pile. I know it's still a lot. So this is 30 products left, decluttering six, keeping 30. You know what, it's an improvement. I don't wanna declutter just to declutter, but I really do love blush. I would say it's probably my second favorite category after eyeshadow. So I'm happy that I'm getting the number down and obviously I have a lot of variety, but also a lot of peachy neutrals as well but I am working on these two in my year long project pan. So we'll see how that goes. So far I haven't even hit pan on them. So wish me luck on that one. But you know what? I think this could have been better, but not bad. I don't want to get rid of things just for the sake of it. So yeah, that is it for this video. So check out parts one and two. I will link them in the cards and in the description box. And the next declutter, I do plan on decluttering eyeshadow palettes. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.